So it's, <laughs> um, okay, so I like to do these types of um, photo ops because I love to bake and cook and do all of that. And I modified my diet when I bought a year and a bit ago. Um, I modified it a bit before that but I really modified it at that point. Um, and really believe that it's hard for the reason that it helped me kind of get to the and far less steps be able to do way more things than I was able to do before. And so today I want to uh, give you a recipe that actually I have, my mom used to bake it for my brother and I, with my brother and I when we were kids, uh, but it is a gluten-free recipe. It is not vegan, however you could make it vegan, and I'll try it out. Um, and uh, yeah, it's delicious and it is definitely a great holiday treat. Uh, it's a great any time of year treat, but Certainly, you're going to see it kind of probably just around in general a bit more than you can a couple of times. So, what is it? It's butterscotch peanut butter marshmallow squares, um, <laughs> which is a very long name. And uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. So, we've got a few ingredients here. We've got a quarter cup of butter. So, of course, to make this very easy, we use butter. We've got three quarter cups of peanut butter. got a bag of butterscotch chips and a bag of confetti marshmallows. Uh, so obviously marshmallows are not this. There are vegan marshmallows available. I googled it. Um, I did not have time or to be honest with you, so I don't have them now. Um, and that's not really where I want to spend my money on this holiday season. So I just stuck with regular ones. I think I'll also have to use the confetti ones. I know some people don't like confetti ones. White ones are totally fine. You're gonna want the mini ones. Uh, but yeah. And like that's that's all the ingredients you need. Super super simple. I've seen recipes that have like other things wrong, but like this is the classic recipe from use. So what I'm going with. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your saucepan, mix, and you're gonna put your butter in the butter or margarine, whatever you're using. Melt the bags. So we're just gonna have it on both feet. I don't want to burn anything like that. And at the same time, we are also gonna add our peanut butter. I actually usually let this melt just a smidge before I add the peanut butter in. Um, and then basically you're going to let both parts melt. So that's the starting point. And as soon as that's melted, I will show you the next step. Okay, so as soon as your peanut butter and butter are melted, you're going to remove it from the heat. Um, and you are going to stir it in your entire bag of butterscotch chips. Okay, so we're going to stir it Fairly large. 
Like I said, whole bag. There's like a way to walk. Just do what you need to do. Um, and then you're going to put all of your melted liquid. Um, in the shoes of all. Just looking at it like this. This is what I find. Honestly, this is not a sugar-free recipe. It's not sugar-free. Natural people as well. You can just use like Walmart brands. You know, do what you. This is like not an expensive. This is not a very expensive recipe to make. You don't have to go buy gluten free flour. Again, if you're choosing to make it vegan or dairy free, like you're going to spend a bit more money on things that you don't want to cost, like gluten free in marshmallows. That is the word, so I'm fine. Um, so, you know, there is that. Uh, but also, like, not required. It really depends on what your dietary preferences uh, and needs. Uh, and then you're going to take your 9 by 11 is 10. Make sure there's some parchment paper in it. And then pour this into the pan. Sheep's left, so I'm gonna try to make the rest of these in cookie cutters and then not really sure what I'm gonna do with the little pieces, but I think they'll be eaten as is. <laughs> Alright, everybody, I hope this has been a fun little treat for you. Take care and keep making the most.